Hello guys, welcome to Just Top 10. With Valentine's Day just around the corner, stores are flooded with candy hearts, chocolates and stuffed animals. In the US, shelves brimming with teddy bears and boxes of chocolate are typical Valentine's Day fare, but not every country turns to greeting cards and heart-shaped candies to declare love. Some exchange wooden spoons and pressed flowers, while others hold a special holiday for the loveless, to mourn their single lives over black noodles. Here is a look at how 10 different countries celebrate Valentine's Day traditions, all around the world. Top 10, Valentine's Day Traditions, All Around the World On Number 10, South Africa Like many parts of the world, South Africa celebrates Valentine's Day with festivals, flowers and other tokens of love. It's also customary for women in South Africa, to wear their hearts on their sleeves on February 14th. Women pin the names of their love interest on their shirt sleeves, an ancient Roman tradition known as Lupercalia. In some cases, this is how South African men learn of their secret admirers. On number 9, Brazil. With carnival held sometime in February or March each year, Brazilians skip the February 14th celebration, and instead celebrate Dia dos Namorados, or Lover's Day, on June 12th. In addition to the usual exchanges of chocolates, flowers and cards, music festivals and performances, are held throughout the country. Gift-giving isn't limited to couples, either. In Brazil, people celebrate this day of love by exchanging gifts, and sharing dinner with friends and relatives too. The following day is St. Anthony's Day, which honors the patron saint of marriage. On this day, single women perform rituals called sympatias, in hopes that St. Anthony will bring them a husband. On number 8, Italy. Originally, Italians celebrated Valentine's Day as the Spring Festival. The young and amorous gathered outside in gardens and such, to enjoy poetry readings and music before taking a stroll with their beloved. Another Italian Valentine's Day tradition was for young, unmarried girls, to wake up before dawn to spot their future husbands. The belief was that the first man a woman saw on Valentine's Day, was the man she would marry within a year. Or he'd at least strongly resemble the man she would marry. Today, Italians celebrate Valentine's Day with gift exchanges between lovers and romantic dinners. One of the most popular Valentine's Day gifts in Italy is, Baci Perugina, which are small, chocolate-covered hazelnuts, wrapped with a romantic printed in four languages. On number 7, Philippines. While Valentine's Day celebrations in the Philippines are similar, to celebrations in Western countries, one tradition has swept the country, and led to thousands of couples sharing a wedding day on February 14th. Surprise. Mass wedding ceremonies have gained popularity in the Philippines in recent years, leading hundreds of couples to gather at malls or other public areas around the country, to get married or renew their vows en masse. On number 6, England. On the eve of Valentine's Day, women in England used to place five bay leaves on their pillows, one at each corner and one in the center, to bring dreams of their future husbands. Alternatively, they would wet bay leaves with rose water, and place them across their pillows. In Norfolk, Jack Valentine acts as a Santa of sorts for Valentine's Day. Children anxiously wait to hear Jack Valentine knock at their doors, and although they don't catch a glimpse of old Father Valentine, children enjoy the candies and small gifts left on their porches. On number 5, China. The equivalent to Valentine's Day in China is, Qixi, or the Seventh Night Festival, which falls on the seventh day of the seventh lunar month each year. According to Chinese lore, the new, a heavenly king's daughter, and Yi Long, a poor coward, fell in love, married and had twins. When the new's father learned of their marriage, he sent his queen to bring the new back to the stars. Upon hearing the cries of Niu Long and the children, the king allowed the new and Niu Long to meet once a year on Qixi. During Qixi, young women prepare offerings of melon, and other fruits to the new, in hopes of finding a good husband. Couples also head to temples to pray for happiness and prosperity. At night, people look to the heavens to watch as stars Vega and Altair, Venu and Niu Long, respectively, come close, during the star-crossed pair's annual reunion. On number 4, Wales. You won't find the Welsh celebrating St. Valentine instead, people in Wales celebrate St. Dwynwen, the Welsh patron saint of lovers, on January 25th. One traditional romantic Welsh gift is a love spoon. As early as the 17th century, Welsh men carved intricate wooden spoons, as a token of affection for the women they loved. Patterns and symbols were carved into these love spoons, each signifying a different meaning. A few examples include horseshoes, which stand for good luck, wheels, which symbolize support, and keys, which symbolize the keys to a man's heart. 
On number 3rd, South Korea. Valentine's Day is a popular holiday for young couples in South Korea, and variations of the holiday are celebrated monthly, from February through April. The gift giving starts on February 14th, when it's up to women to woo their men with chocolates, candies and flowers. The tables turn on March 14th, a holiday known as White Day, when men not only shower their sweethearts with chocolates and flowers, but up the ante with a gift. And for those, who don't have much to celebrate on either Valentine's Day or White Day, there is a third holiday, Black Day. On April 14th, it's customary for singles to mourn their solitary status, by eating dark bowls of jajamuyan, or black bean paste noodles. On number 2nd, France. With a reputation as one of the most romantic destinations in the world, it's little wonder France has long celebrated Valentine's Day, as a day for lovers. It's been said that, the first Valentine's Day card originated in France, when Charles, Duke of Orleans sent love letters to his wife, while imprisoned in the Tower of London in 1415. Today, Valentine's Day cards remain a popular tradition, in France and around the world. Another traditional Valentine's Day event in France was the Loterie d'Amour, or Drawing for Love. Men and women would fill houses that faced one another, and then take turns calling out to one another and pairing off. Men who weren't satisfied with their match could simply leave a woman for another, and the women left unmatched gathered afterward for a bonfire. During the bonfire, women burned pictures of the men who wronged them, and hurled swears and insults at the opposite sex. The event became so uncontrollable, that the French government eventually banned the tradition altogether. On top 1, Denmark. Although Valentine's Day is a relatively new holiday in Denmark, celebrated since the early 1990s, according to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Denmark, the country has embraced February 14th with a Danish twist. Rather than roses, friends and sweethearts exchange pressed white flowers called snowdrops. Another popular Danish Valentine's Day tradition is the exchange of lovers' cards. While lovers' cards were originally transparent cards, which showed a picture of the card giver presenting a gift to his sweetheart, the term is now synonymous, with any card exchanged on Valentine's Day. On February 14th, men also give women Gekabrov, a joking letter, consisting of a funny poem or rhyme, written on intricately cut paper, and signed only with anonymous dots. If a woman who receives the Gekabrov can correctly guess the sender, she earns herself an Easter egg later that year. Thank you guys, for watching this video. We hope you like this video. If you want to suggest us any topic, please comment below in comment box. Don't forget to subscribe our channel, and press the bell icon. Take care of yourselves, friends and family members. Bye for now. Adios amigos.